Hi there, this is an installation tutorial video made to show you how to install the latest version of Coin Cartel's scripts into the vanilla Minecraft launcher. We only recommend that you use the vanilla Minecraft launcher if MultiMC is not working and you have tried to troubleshoot it, or if you are using Microsoft accounts and MultiMC does not provide support for Microsoft accounts at the time of your installation. If neither of those situations describe your own, then I recommend that you check the description of this video and follow the link to the pre-configured MultiMC installation tutorial video. Before we get started, you should make sure that you have the latest version of Java for your system and an archive extractor tool installed. I'm going to be using WinRAR in this video. I will include links to download Java and WinRAR in the description. You should also have installed and ran the Minecraft launcher at least once prior to getting started here. On that note, let's begin. First things first, download the Vanilla MC Launcher installation archive from the link in the instructions that you were sent on Discord or wherever you purchased the scripts. Drag the zip file onto your desktop. Right-click the zip file and select Extract Here. Open the folder that is created. Open the Mod Loader Installers folder, then double-click the Forge Installer file. This should open the Forge Installer application. If nothing happens, or if it is opened with your archive extraction tool, you should double-check that you have installed Java. If you have installed Java and it is not working, then you can right-click the file and select Open With, then find the Java Platform Binary application in the list that appears. Once the Forge Installer application is open, click OK to start installing Forge. It might take some time depending on your internet speed. Once it is finished and shown you the complete window, click OK. Next, open the Light Loader Installer file. It is also a JAR file, so if you had issues opening the Forge Installer, you should do whatever you did to get the Forge Installer to open properly again here. Once the Light Loader Installer application is open, click the drop-down menu under where it says Install Light Loader, Recommended, next to where it says Extend From. Select 1.12.2-Forge-14.23.5.2855 from the drop-down list. Next, click OK and wait for Light Loader to install. Click OK once it has installed. Click the Windows logo at the bottom left and type in percent app data. Then press Enter. Find the .minecraft folder in here and open it. Right-click the white space in the .minecraft folder and select New Folder. Name this new folder Script Instances, then open this folder. In another File Explorer window, open up the vanilla Minecraft Launcher folder from the Script Archives link. Copy the Instance folder and paste it into the Script Instances folder. Rename the folder you just pasted into the Script Instances directory to the username of the account that you're going to be logging into when using this instance. For each account that you use with the scripts, you will need to copy and paste the instance folder again and rename the new folder to the name of the account that will be using that instance. Open the folder after you've pasted and renamed it. At the top of the Windows File Explorer screen, click the Path field. Copy the path to this instance folder onto your clipboard. Open the Minecraft Launcher. Then, click the Installations tab at the top of the screen. Click New Installation. Click the drop-down menu under where it says Version. Find the version that we made earlier that combines both Forge and Light Loader. Its name will be really long, so it should stick out. Then, where it says Game Directory, delete any text that might be in the input field and paste in the path to the directory we made earlier. For the Name field, type in the username of the account that will be using this instance. Finally, you can click More Options at the bottom. This is where you can edit the amount of memory you will be allocating to Minecraft. I recommend using at least 2 gigabytes of RAM, but if you have more or less RAM, you can make the decision to change the minus XMX variable accordingly. I will put my JVM arguments in the description, so you can copy and paste them in if you want to use mine. Finally, you can click Create. You should now see the installation in the list of versions that you can launch. To double check that the game directory was set successfully, click the folder icon on the right of the installation entry in the list. This should open a new file explorer window in the directory this game will be launched in. It should be launched in script instances slash username, well, replacing username for your account's username. You should see the folders config, light config, mods, schematics, the 5 zig mod etc. If not, then you should rewind the video, find and fix your mistake. And there you have it. You are now done. Make sure you are logged into the right account and you can launch this instance and get started. Thanks for watching. Uh, this video is not going to cover the 
uh, configuration of any individual script. So that's where this video will end. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to ask them below or send me a message on Discord at blitz hashtag 0387. I will update the description of this video to have my Discord tag should it ever change, so double check the description to make sure that you're adding the correct person on Discord should you be watching this video later on in the future. See you, Space Cowboy.